Hello, and welcome to a Mr. Re Real Talk video. This time around, Final Fantasy 16. Now, I just about, I'm about 85% through Final Fantasy 16, and I have to say, I'm pretty underwhelmed with the game. Like, I originally was going to watch this because I watched a few people play the demo. SVN TV, uh, what a champion, and uh, he was raving about it. The demo looks awesome, which is playing with you right now, but I just can't believe the quality of game that I was expecting. Now, I haven't played a Final Fantasy since 10. So, of course, if you, you have played Final Fantasy, like, okay, you're basing it on something. You you haven't played from 11 to 15. The game changes. That's fine. Um, and I have my recent RPG. Oh, actually, a, a RPG has been um, Tales of Arise, which is more recent. But just regarding that, I, I didn't go in saying, okay, why don't I have, you know, the combat system's totally different. That's not what I expected. But there were, there were a few things, you know, with Kingdom Hearts in mind, one of my favorite games, that I really felt this game just didn't hit the mark. And, I, and people are saying game of the year, and I'm sitting here like, like <laughs> we'll go through, but I don't think it's there. I think they, they really let it down, and it's really putting more questions into these these games that are worth hundreds of dollars. This is a $114 game. Like, the, the industry is changing. These indie games out there, there are games that are costing us $10, $15. There are even free games that are doing better content than these top-end game companies. Like, you have so much out there, but you just keep missing the mark on certain things. And I think as Miguel talks about it, right, you know, you spend, if if $100, every one hour is $1 of game time. And I, I don't think I've played more than 30 hours and I'm about to finish the campaign. And I've done nearly every side quest along the way. So let's talk about the game. Now, it looks insane. I have to say, the fights... The cinematic fights, like the way it looks and feels is is awesome. I think it, they really hit the mark on that high caliber. And that's something you could say, sway you to buying this and saying like the, the spell animation is beautiful. The combat looks beautiful. When you get to fighting, you know, you know spoilers, but when you get to fight uh, with the, the icons and like those cinematics, it, it's done very well. Okay. That, that is something that's going for it. I think combat, combat was fun. I'm mean, uh, Combat was interesting, okay? There's a few things. Uh, I think it is fun to play, but I don't think throughout the game, you know, that I had any trouble. You know, I'm 80, 85% through the story. I've got like four chapters left. And, I, and I've and i killed nearly all the um, hunts. I've done nearly all the side quests uh, like that I can up to each point. And I don't think I've died in this game. Like, there's been no challenge. And like I said before, I've only played 10 like, I haven't played any of the other 15, but I just feel like, unless people like that, like, I haven't been challenged at all. You know, there's been no challenge in these games. I've just been able to slash and, you know, hack and slash. And, like, the, when you get to build out more of your abilities, too, like, I can delete things super quickly, and boss fights are pretty underwhelming. And you might say, well, the end boss, will, you know, I haven't got to there, but, like, I, I've been able to one-shot everything. And I think that, that challenge says to that, that that mundane that kind of builds in the more you play this game. So that's kind of combat. Um, but again, really well done. And I also, you know, you know, part of that too is I think the, the in combat, the, the useless of your your dog and your, your party members, they don't feel very impactful at all. You know, I kind of miss, I, I thought, you know, in other like, Tales of Arise, you know, I get to swap between my party members. You can't do that. It's very very linear and i think that kind of also goes down to the story as well in the side quest i think you know you're following one path and get me wrong the story is phenomenal like i, I enjoy the story and I, the whole time i'm like i want to know but what happens is i spend so much time going oh, i've got to log on and do all this other filler quest and i have to do these long dialogues to get there and you know i don't get to break it up with some interesting side quests the side quest i think i've done one side quest 80 percent through you know and i've been like that was funny you know that was that was an enjoyable side quest that gave me something that changed me up you know what i mean there was no break you kind of just have to do the story you know there's no and it's fun but it's long you know and like you spend so much time in this linear pathway like pick up a quest all right, and then she's like, okay, you spend some dialogue. Then you walk two feet. Then you talk to another person. Then you walk two feet. Then you talk to another person. Instead of just like one continuous, you just keep breaking in and out of cutscenes over and over. And it does build up over time. Like, I've just, you know, where is the variance around there? And there's, you know, there's some come elements too that like, you'll be chasing a guy and you're like, you know, I have all these powers. Why am I just struggling to run after someone when I can blink? Like I can blink in combat. Where's the connectedness there? I can use it anywhere. You know, I felt like that storyline was brilliant, but 
there's this mundane stuff in the villa. If you don't have other stuff going for it, it can become very repetitive. And it can be like if I'm combat's just a notch on the belt, you know, all I'm doing is just I'm just plowing through this content that I'm not finding challenging so I can find what the end of the story is. So I think that was some and that speaks to the side quest. You need to have interesting side quests. People like that. People like if you're gonna invest hundred and fifteen dollars into a game. You know, make some interesting side quests. When I think of Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy X, Tales of Arise, there was stuff that was to do otherwise. You know, there's collectibles. Like, let's talk about items in this game. Like, surely there's no one here that's going to argue that the item system was terrible. Absolutely terrible. Okay, let's talk about... I have like six slots of items, okay, that I think in my bag right now I have 400,000 gil that I've not spent ever. I buy like I have two health pots, okay? And then I have... All these accessories I never equipped that I probably would sell. And the only thing I can buy, okay, are these stuff for my orchestra to play music. Now, if, if you're a sweat for the music, yeah, and that's the stuff you want to listen to, and that's what stuff that's going to keep you up at night because you're so excited, then awesome. You've hit that target audience. But for the rest of us who just want to play a cool game, like, what the hell's going on, you know? And then you can farm materials to build weapons, except there's, like, nothing to build. Like... I think early on, it's like, oh, I can buy these armlets and they're plus five. And you, so you spend time getting and you, you build it because you just get it on the way. Like you don't have to farm any time for gear, right? And then you get that piece of gear. And then the next quest you finish gives you a free upgrade for a better weapon. And you're like, so what was the point of building that for, for one chapter? I got to use an item I built. Like, and later, so there's weapons as well. Like your character doesn't change. Add some... You know, some people like that individuality. A lot of people like that. Like, I guess I'm playing Clive, but let me pick a couple of customized designs of how I look. Make the swords better. Like, holy, the swords change like small to thin. And sometimes I saw a curve in the blade. Like, we couldn't get think of, you know, at least for the, you know, the, the big battles when you kill a big boss, you get a special weapon that looks like fancy in some way. Like, I just felt like the weapon system was just really not thought out. And... There's no point, like I said, and then apart from that as well, there are side quests that have plus signs, right? And they're like, well, these side quests are important. So there's also side quests that are not important and important. And so with those, you get, you know, some upgrades that like will help you with the healing or you'll get upgrades, you know, for some special weapons. Now, I've done the blacksmith quest line, which you can get and do. And I'm like I said, I'm 80% through and I can't make the weapons yet because I can't kill the t top tier boss or mini boss hunt that gives me the item to make it. So even though I'm doing these, si these long extravagant side quests, I can't make any of the items that like <laughs> that I can use to help me. So there's again, no benefit for doing these side quests. You may say, okay, what about the renown system? So when you do side quests and stuff, you build renown. Wait, that just gives more useless items. I think I've got one ring that I like from that renown thing. And the rest of it is trash. Like, it's so mundane. Like, the only thing that's going, you know, it, like I said to driving, is I'm, I'm keen to see the end of the story. I like the characters and I like that part. But there's no, it, it's so tunnel vision. You don't get to enjoy other things, you know. The mounts, you could have induced a couple of mounts. Like, you know, with the boss fights, I, I like, I just... I just wish there was more to do. Like, I feel like there is going to be the end game plus, but I'm like, uh, you know, like I'm just now struggling to get to the end. You know, I want to have, you know, more chance. I want to have more enjoyment in doing other things. And they, it, it doesn't have to be extravagant, but I just feel like it was kind of like, you know, how are you going? You know, and like, I get we're playing Clive, but it would have been cool to be able to, and you do get to, you know, shift and play other things now and then, but I would have liked more to, to mess with parties. I liked the idea. That's what was in my mind of Final Fantasy games, because I played, I played all the Kingdom Hearts, you know, I've played 10, you know, it might have changed in the more recent, but, I've, you know, but I spent at least some customization. Um, I think abilities, holy, this, this ability system, very again, linear, like, there were so many upgrades I didn't buy. And when I have all this ability power, I'm just upgrading the same ones and not worried about mastering abilities. I just picked the best ones and upgraded. And I really didn't stick to swapping out, you know, from many abilities. I felt pretty tunneled into choosing which ones I wanted because I had to like sacrifice some to use other. Like, I just feel like, you know, L2 and R2, like you only get to pick three types of um, icons to use when you have so many other options. But... I just think it could have been 
used in a, in a better way. I, I, I more like like I said, like you, there are so many unwasted abilities, and I guess that's part of the customs that you know people might play this way and people might play that way. But I'm very interested if people actually got to use so many. I found a lot of them kind of useless. Like if I found you know the fire icon so good because the dash mechanic was very useful, but some of the other mechanics I'm like, eh, you know, like. There's a lot of a charge up or there's a very niche windows while well, instead I just want to go for pure damage and, you know, kill. But I guess, yeah, I think that the abilities felt, you know, uh, and that that linked to the leveling, right? Like every level just felt was just numbers on a screen. Like there was no, uh, like it, it just felt, well, I got a level. You know, there's literally nothing. Your numbers go up. Like the bombs don't change difficult. Like nothing happens. There's no, you know, oh, because you got this five levels, you know, you now have, uh, this special mechanic comes out, but there's no growth around that. There's no, there's nothing for the leveling. You know, all you do is get a bit of AP and a number goes up. That's it. That's the reality. And you just continue on the story. Like you could remove the leveling mechanic and we wouldn't have to level and it wouldn't matter. Like it doesn't affect anything. You could remove the items from this game. It wouldn't affect anything. Yeah, like I just feel like that's how mundane they are to the, the combat style and what you're doing. Like even even really the armor, like it, they're like plus three armor. You're like you, it's not noticeable. It's so not noticeable. Like it's so useless. And I just think that there's been so much times Final Fantasy has done so many great customizations and love for their individual characters and belong, you know, connectivity and you would style to things you liked and. You know, Kingdom Hearts, like every new zone, you get a new skin with a new keyblade. Like, it, it could be my higher expectations. And, you know, I think, I just don't think it's worth $100. I just don't think the money value on this game is up there. Like, I just think they're just taking people's money for really a game that's really just pretty standard. Like, I, it, it, I'm not going to replay it. I probably I finished it in just over a week. Like I said, maybe 40 hours I finished the game. And I'm just sitting here like, yeah, I mean, it was it was cool. The story was cool. The graphics were cool. The gameplay was cool. But it was also very easy. It was very linear. There wasn't really much to do to keep me going. And it ended up maybe halfway through. Like, every day, I'm like, oh, I better, you know, I want to know the ending. So I'm going to try and push through and get through the content and do, like, you know, an hour here, an hour there to just get through. But I wasn't, like, drawn to it. I was There wasn't things around the map. Oh, I'm going to... Even the hunts, you know? Like, they... Some things I'm hunting, you get like one item, like, oh, good, that's, I have a hundred of those. Like, like, there was no, there's nothing outside the story to get you entertained to do. It's just, this is it, and this is what you're doing. You get so stuck into it, and I just, I just wish they had more. I wish they had more, and I wish I could recommend, like, I, I don't see myself recommending this to people. Like, if you're a Final Fantasy player, you're going to play it. And if you have money, sure, like, want to spend some money. But for people who are upping and ahhing, like, what... I wouldn't recommend it. There's, if you haven't played an, you know, ARPG before, if you, I'd recommend so many others. You know, if you haven't, if you, you're interested in the Final Fantasy series, I wouldn't recommend this as the top one. Like, I, you know, I think it's it's got a good simplicity simplicity to it, and maybe people who are new to the game and just want a hack and slash game. But I think you know, looking at community of players, I'm like I'm 30 years of age. I'm gonna keep bringing back to that. Most people are in their 30s are playing that. All these guys who are boring up are playing Mario and our, you know, Nintendos. Like, we have so many experience in games now. Like, give us some variety. Like, I just, yeah, I just, you know, there's so many games out there that just do it much better than they did this. So, that's really my opinion of this game. And I hope that uh, you guys either like or don't like or agree to me. But I really think, yeah, if you're thinking about getting this game, I think it didn't hit the mark. And, uh, you know, I think it... You play for yourself if you want to agree, but I'd love to hear your comments. So if you leave some comments, like, subscribe, let me know like your thoughts. But uh yeah, wasn't didn't do it for me. So peace out everybody.